Come on to you, Cancer Crabs. So, you have the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Uh, so, the Three of Swords is about, remember how I was talking to y'all about the last reading, you and this uh, person that you already had actually went out with uh, tried to give it another go and it didn't necessarily work out the way that you intended it to. Um, you're a little bit heartbroken, you know, because you care about them. Uh, and at the fact that things didn't really work out between the two of you, you thought that they had changed, right? You just wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords, however, even though you are a little bit heartbroken, you're not heartbroken much. <laughs> you've been around the block more than a couple of times you cancer crabs are experienced and you know how to pull yourself out of a funk now you cancer crabs understand your value you're not going to be sitting around moping all day sad because you understand that it's not about you having the problem the problem was them they were dysfunctional they are dysfunctional So the Nine of Pentacles and the Hanged Man is about you, Cancer Crabs, have too much value to spend so much time reminiscing, going down memory lane, thinking about this ex and, and all the good, you know, <laughs> that they've done for you. Because a lot of you Cancer Crabs now understand that, yes, this person made you laugh a couple of times, they made you feel good a couple of times, but their dysfunctions could not, their dysfunctions overtook the good times that you and this person had. And you cancer crabs are far more valuable than to allow yourselves to just be broken by an individual that wants to, that wants you to put all of your value as a person in their hands i don't see you cancer crabs ever really putting your value as a person in anyone's hands ever again because that's not what this is about and the hanged man represents how um you know it could be you you cancer crabs don't necessarily know how much time it's going to be before you could potentially find someone again it can be today it could be tomorrow it could be next week next month next year three years right Whenever it happens, it's going to happen. You cancer crabs are not going to put time limits on it. And you shouldn't either, by the way. You should take this time right now to give yourself a pat on the back because you cancer crabs did something that a lot of people don't, and um, which is disengage from usury, okay? The temperance and the page of cups, the temperance, right, is you're learning how to use that wisdom. When someone treats you like trash, you cancer crabs are learning to speak up immediately because if you don't, the person will continue to do that to and wait to see what happens and how much you can take. And the Page of Cups is about if the person seems to be quite delusional, then you Cancer Crabs are just not going to be around them, you know? Because why would you want to have someone in your life where they do something disrespectful or do something wrong and you Cancer Crabs may tell them, hey, you know, that hurt a little bit. And they're like, oh, they don't care. Who are you to tell them anything? They're going to tell you and they're going to speak to you and do to you whatever it is that they want. Because if they don't say that they're sorry and do better and they tell you, oh, well, they don't even really care, then it means that you need to get away from them because they just revealed who they actually are. And it's also saying for you, Cancer Crabs, not to be delusional. The Eight of Wands, however, is let's get back onto the main focus, you, Cancer Crabs, and about how you're healing as it is that we speak. Um, this relationship, obviously, it, it didn't end as peacefully as you cancer crabs may have wanted it to. 
you would have you if it ended this time around you cancer crabs would have wanted to have both sides be dignified and just go their separate ways without having to go out at each you know what i'm saying bickering and arguing or not being able to get along and unfortunately it didn't necessarily turn out like that but the eight of wands you did walk away with your dignity and your integrity and you cancer crabs most definitely did get the closure that it is that you wanted the wheel of fortune and the death card the wheel of fortune is cancer crabs death card is scorpio um cancer crabs and scorpio are lower and higher octave of one another so quite ironic that they that they're right next to each other but um yes the wheel of fortune and the death card the, the hamster wheel right the the merry-go-round the the rat race you know you cancer crabs are serious about exiting the rat race you're serious about not allowing yourselves to be caught up in these repetitive uh relationships you get to know somebody with regardless of whoever it's from regardless of if it's even from family right you know you go home to a family reunion or something like this and then they think that it's time to start busting out the old you know family stories and it's embarrassing you or a romantic interest right where the person is in your life but they don't know how to act like they have some form of common sense they're just running them up this is a this is a, a very big powerful tipping point you cancer crabs are not putting up with that no it's not happening a lot of you cancer crabs now depending on the situation you're going to speak up about something you're not just you're going to be patient but you're not just going to be tolerant of it you're going to ask them well, what's up you know why is it that they have to bring up these types of stories you know what what personal gain do they exactly get from bringing up these stories right and and it's it, it will surprise a lot of people okay uh right around now don't be surprised if you cancer crabs uh within now and coming into the future don't be surprised if you cancer crabs hear um more people say I didn't I didn't expect you to have this type of personality or I didn't expect that you would be this way. So let's clarify the wheel of fortune exactly. Okay. The sun card, ace of wands, <laughs> queen of cups, three of cups, page of cups. The sun and the ace of wands, they thought that they'd be able to shower you with a certain amount of attention, maybe even money, right? Or their accomplishments. And they'd be able to take advantage of you or you would be able to allow certain things to slide. But the queen of cups and the three of cups represents because you're standing your ground and you're still, and you're standing your ground respectfully and you will walk away if, if the person refuses to stop acting like they're an idiot a lot of people are really like trying that type of game with you and you cancer crabs pretty much are kind of really uh, calling them out on it. And because of the fact that you're calling them out on it, like I said, they wanna now be like, you know, come on now, it's not like that, right? You know, cause they were, they were S testing you. So now it's like, oh, come on now, don't, you know, you know, cancer crabs, don't, don't be on it like that. Don't be walk, don't walk away. Because you cancer crabs are so ready to walk away now. So they don't wanna they don't want to end up dealing with you cancer crabs being quite ready to walk away. They don't want to deal with that. So so they would rather act like, well, you know, they were just playing. So the page of cups, they're trying to delude you, like I was talking about, trying to make it seem like you cancer crabs are taking it too seriously and that you're applying too much pressure. That's not even really the case. These people were playing with you. They're messing with you. They're constantly trying to get some sort of reaction out of you. And you cancer crabs don't think it's funny. You don't think it's amusing. And, you know, you're just kind of figure, you're just trying to figure out like, okay, what exactly is going on now? 
And a lot of people ultimately can't handle it anymore. They can't handle the questioning. They can't handle the fact that you Cancer Crabs are now what? The sun card. You're now shedding the spotlight on the behaviors that they do. Now they have to actually address those issues that they have with you or risk make them, uh, making themselves look really stupid and or make them look like they have some sort of ulterior motive. That's it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, you can contact me if you'd like to get a personal reading at kareemspiritworks at yahoo.com or you can go to the link in the comment section below called a link tree link, click on it. It will redirect you to a website where there's a way to, on the Wix website, to, where there's a way to get a personal reading from me. Peace.